Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be part three of our barcode tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to start um, adding another button that we are going to use to read a QR barcode file. Okay, that being said, let's run our application and see where we left off. So in the first part, we create this QR button, QR code button that creates a barcode. In other words, if we paste, copy and paste the link, let's copy this link here, for example, and we paste in our text box, or it could be any other type of information as well. And hit the QR code. Our QR is being generated. And then we can save this QR code as a file. This is what we did in our part two. So I can say, um, I can select the format here. Um, let's say GIF, okay. And say, um, my QR code. And save. Okay, now that's going to be saved in our files here. Okay, so this is the GIF we just created. Okay, so uh, we did a PNG, a JPEG, and I did this one. Basically the same thing with BMP format, bitmap format, and with the GIF, GIF format. Okay, so in this part we are going to Add another button that we are going to use to read from the file. Okay, before we get there, I like to do a quick tweak here. I'm gonna move these buttons around, make them a little larger, and change the captions or text a little bit for better understanding. So I'd like to change this to encode QR code. Use the key, the word encode, so it makes a little more sense, I guess. And this one will change it to save card code to file, and then let's add our third one. Let's copy and paste one of these buttons, and let's call this. Um, decode QR QR code from the file. Okay, and that's a little too long, so let's make it a little shorter. Okay, decode QR code from file. All right, that's good enough. Okay, now let's double click and go to code behind. First, we're going to uh, need an instance of uh, open file dialog. So var dialog equals new open file dialog. Okay, all right, once we have that, we're going to create an if statement. So if dialog dot um, show dialog equals equals dialog result dot OK, then we're going to need an instance of barcode reader class. So bar reader equals new barcode reader okay um, next we're going to get the file so var um, QR file let's call this equals 
or let's call this image file. Image file equals image from file and we'll pass in dialog dot file name. All right, so far this is going to return us a uh, image, but we need a bitmap as a result. So as we don't cast this to a bitmap. Okay. So once we have that bitmap, we can actually say picture box that image equals image file. Simple enough. Let's build and test this. So at this point, when we open the file, we should get the image displayed in our picture box. Did I build it? OK, let's try again. All right, build succeeds. Let's run this. So let's go ahead and click on our decode QR from files. It's going to open a file dialog, and if I select one of these guys, we should be able to open the file here. Let's try another one. Let's try this guy. And it opens the uh, QR code in our picture box. Okay. Let's take this one step further. And let's grab the text from that file. So var result equals um, let's see, reader, we're going to decode it. We're going to call the decode method and pass in our image file. Okay. So this is going to return us a result. Okay. Once we have that, we can say text box one dot text equals result dot text all right and that's basically it so let's build again and run it okay if i click this button here and select this guy this png file and open it We'll have our image here, and we'll have the text that's decoded from the file right here. Okay, so we decoded the text and the QR code. Okay, that's it for now. Until the next one, take it easy.